Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video will be a quick one. We're just gonna go over how to create trailing stops within Thinkorswim. Now for this first example, we're gonna do it on a position we currently hold. So let's go ahead and pretend we wanted to put a 5% trailing stop on American Airlines up here. You can see I currently have 100 shares. I bought it at 27, it's currently 23.42. And like we said, we wanted to put a 5% trailing stop on it. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is go ahead and right click on American Airlines, go ahead and say create a closing order, and we're gonna click on sell 100 shares of American Airlines at 2342. Now from here, we're gonna auto populate an order ticket down here below that's saying we're gonna sell our 100 shares of American Airlines. And because my default is set to limit, we're gonna go ahead and click on limit and change it to a trailing stop. From here, we're gonna go ahead and change this plus or minus, which right now means dollars and cents. So we're gonna go ahead and click on it. That'll go ahead and change it to ticks, which is gonna be for futures contracts. We'll go ahead and click on it one more time and switch it to percentages. From there, we're gonna go ahead and type in negative 5%. And there we go, we're good to go. Now the last little tweak, we might change this from day to good till canceled. And that's it, we'll go ahead and hit confirm and send. We'll hit send. And we'll go ahead and check on that order ticket up here on the monitor page. We can see I've got a working order to sell 100 shares of American Airlines at a 5% trailing stop. Now that was how to create a trailing stop on a position we already had open. So let's go ahead and do it on a stock we haven't yet bought. Let's go ahead and go over to the trades tab and we'll pull up Apple in this example, AAPL. Let's say we wanted to buy 50 shares of Apple at 115 and if that order filled, we wanted to put out a $2 trailing stop. So in this example, we're using dollars and cents. We wanted to trail it by $2, whereas in the previous example, we were using percentages. So what we're gonna do is right click on the current price of Apple, say buy custom, and in this case, we're gonna say with a stop. Now, just like before, it auto defaults to a regular old stop. So we're gonna go ahead and click on stop here and change it to trailing stop. Now, like we talked about, we wanted this to be minus $2 or trailing it by $2. So we'll go ahead and type in minus two and hit enter. And we said we wanted this to be on 50 shares. So we'll go ahead and type in 50 here on both the lines. And we'll adjust the limit order to buy to 115 and the time and force to good till canceled. All right, so just like we talked about before, what we're saying is we want to buy 50 shares of Apple at 115, good till canceled. If this order fills, it's gonna automatically put out an order to sell our 50 shares of Apple if it ever drops $2. Now, just like before, we'll just go ahead and hit confirm and send, make sure all of that looks right. It does, we'll go ahead and hit send. And now we've got that order working and we can check on it on the monitor page here. Now, I'm sure none of you would be surprised if I told you there are many other ways to do this. One example would be coming over to the watch list, simply right clicking on the stock you wanna buy or sell, go down to buy custom and do it with a stop. Now I talked about it in previous videos, you can create your own template so it auto creates the trailing stop, whereas here we have it auto creating the stop. So if you wanna learn how to do that, go ahead and check out my previous video on the topic and it would walk you through every step of the way. Now you could also simply do it from the charts page, you could pull up the active trader ladder. Let's widen this out a little bit. And you could change this template from single to trigger with bracket. And you simply uncheck the one that's the limit price above, changes from stop to trailing stop, and you'd be good to go. Now, again, if you wanna watch this more in depth, I do have a video specifically going into the active trader ladder. I will tell you this is by far the fastest way to trade, but we're not gonna get into it in this video. And finally, you could do this from the trade tab another way. Let's go ahead and delete this out of here. Let's say we were to buy Amazon up here, 3088.50, click on the asking price. We're gonna come down to where it says advanced order, single order. We're gonna make it first trigger sequence. We're gonna right click on the order ticket down here, say create an opposite order, and change this from a limit order to a trailing stop. And just like before, we've got that opening order to buy the shares, triggering the order to go out there to sell it if it ever goes down 10 cents in this example. So as you can see, there are many different ways to create trailing stops inside of Thinkorswim. I really recommend you practice with all of them and then decide which one works best for you, but it'll just take a little bit of practice for you guys to get the hang of it. Now, everything we did talk about today is synonymous for every other type of stop. I mean, we could have used a stop, stop limit, trailing stop, and trailing stop limit just as easily. But in the example today, we were using trailing stops because I've had a few questions about it in the past videos. Now, the point of this video is not to get into which one of these types of orders makes most sense, a stop versus a trailing stop. If that's something you guys are interested in me covering, I can make a future video on it. Uh, but this video today is just going over the mechanics of actually how to create these order types inside of Thinkorswim. But I hope you guys liked the video. I know we went pretty fast, so if you missed anything, go ahead and rewatch the video. I'm sure that'll help. 
But if there's anything you guys would like me to cover in future videos, please leave it down below in the comments. I'm happy to help with anything you guys need. And if you found this video helpful today, please go ahead and hit that like button and think about subscribing to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. But we'll go ahead and end the video here and I will catch you guys on the next one.